factoring trinomials. x squared plus 7x plus 12 is a trinomial. The a term is the 1 in front of the x squared. The b term is 7 in front of the x. And the c term is 12. First begin by factoring the c term. The factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. These are the factors for the c term, 12. Now we'll begin by creating a parenthesis set for each factor that we will use. x squared factors out to x times x, so we place an x at the beginning of each parenthesis. Next, we're going to determine our signs. Because the second sign is positive, that tells us we are adding the factors. When you add factors, the signs will be the same. The first sign, positive, tells us that both signs must be positive. Therefore, we place a positive in each parenthesis set. We are adding the factors. Therefore, 3 and 4 add up to the middle term, the b term, which is 7. Therefore, 3 and 4 are now placed in the parenthesis, and we get factors of x plus 3, x plus 4, for the trinomial x squared plus 7x plus 12. For the trinomial x squared minus 11x plus 24, again we begin by factoring the c term. 24 factors out to 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. We begin by placing our parentheses sets as before. x squared factors out to x times x. And now we look at our signs again, and the second sign being positive tells us we are adding the factors, therefore the signs will be the same. The first sign, being negative, tells us that both signs will be negative. Therefore we place a negative in each parenthesis. Because we are adding, we are looking for the factors that will add up to the middle term, the b term, which in this case is 11. Therefore the 3 and the 8 are the factors that add up to 11. Therefore, for the trinomial x squared minus 11x plus 24, the factors are x minus 3, x minus 8. When you get a trinomial that has the signs x squared minus 3x minus 18, we again begin with factoring the c term. 1 and 18, 2 and 9, and 3 and 6 are the factors of 18. We begin with the parentheses as before, and x squared factors out to x times x. In this case, the second sign is negative. That means we are subtracting the factors. When we subtract the factors, the signs will be different. So therefore, we're going to put a negative and a positive in the parentheses. In this case, we are subtracting the factors. And to determine which sign we get, the larger factor will get the first sign, which in this case is negative. Therefore, the factors that subtract to give you 3x will be 6 and 3. The 6 will go with the negative. That's the larger factor. The 3 will go with the positive, being the smaller factor. So for the trinomial, x squared minus 3x minus 18, the factor sets are x minus 6, x plus 3. When the signs are x squared plus 7x minus 18, we again by, begin by factoring the c term. 1 and 18, 2 and 9, and 3 and 6 are the factors of 18. Our parentheses sets remain the same, and x squared factors to x times x. Because we are subtracting the factors, because the second sign is negative, we know that the signs have to be positive and negative in the parentheses. The first sign tells us which factor gets that sign. The larger factor will get the first sign. In order to get 7, we need to subtract 9 minus 2. Therefore, the 9 will go with the positive, and the 2 will go with the negative. So for the trinomial x squared plus 7x minus 18, the factors are x plus 9, x minus 2.